Breaking news from Starbase is showing an unprecedented shift in the SpaceX FAA dynamic. For the first time in Starship's testing history, the launch timeline for Flight 6 has been established without the usual regulatory hurdles, a development that could revolutionize the pace of Starship's testing program. The signs of change are already visible on the ground. In a remarkable display of operational efficiency, we're witnessing Ship 31 and Booster 13 progressing through their pre-launch preparations at a pace we've never seen before. Just this week, SpaceX teams executed one of their fastest vehicle stacking operations to date, shaving precious hours off their previous records. But the real story here isn't just about speed, it's about what this means for the future of commercial spaceflight. The regulatory landscape that has long been a bottleneck for SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule appears to be evolving, potentially paving the way for more frequent Starship launches. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest developments from Starbase, where history is being written with every passing day. Let's dive right in. The transformation at Starbase is nothing short of remarkable. On November 14th, in the pre-dawn darkness, SpaceX teams began what would become one of their most efficient launch preparation sequences to date. As the first rays of sunlight kissed the Texas coastline, Booster 13 made its journey to the launch site, a massive testament to human engineering standing ready for its next milestone. By 6.30 a.m., the launch team had already achieved their first victory of the day. The booster, weighing thousands of tons, was precisely mounted onto the launch mount using the Orbital Launch Integration System's chopsticks, a feat that previously took significantly longer to accomplish. But this was just the beginning of a day that would redefine space operational capabilities. What happened next stunned even the most seasoned SpaceX observers. The stacking process of Ship 31 onto Booster 13, a delicate dance of precision engineering, was completed in under two hours. To put this into perspective, previous stacking operations typically required 2.5 to 3 hours. This isn't just about saving time, it's about perfecting a process that will be crucial for SpaceX's ambitious goal of daily Starship launches. Behind the scenes, this acceleration in launch preparations tells an even more compelling story. SpaceX's teams have been meticulously analyzing and optimizing every step of their procedures. Sources within the company reveal that hundreds of micro-improvements have been implemented since Flight 5, from enhanced communication protocols to refined mechanical processes. Each saved minute represents countless hours of engineering innovation and operational refinement. The upcoming wet dress rehearsal, scheduled for November 17th, represents another crucial milestone. During this test, both stages of the vehicle will be filled with sub-zero propellants, creating a striking visual as super-chilled nitrogen vapors cascade down the rocket's gleaming surface. This isn't just a fueling exercise. It's a comprehensive validation of countless integrated systems working in perfect harmony. But perhaps the most significant development isn't happening on the launch pad. It's occurring in Washington, D.C., where the regulatory landscape is undergoing a seismic shift. The FAA's recent announcement about reviewing its commercial space launch licensing rules marks a potential turning point in the industry. This review wasn't spontaneous. It's the result of mounting pressure from both industry leaders and congressional advocates who have long argued that current regulations are stifling innovation. The numbers tell a compelling story. The FAA approved a record-breaking 148 commercial space operations in fiscal year 2024, marking a 30% increase from the previous year. Yet this could be just the beginning. Projections suggest these numbers might double by FY28, creating an urgent need for regulatory evolution. The tension between SpaceX and the FAA reached a boiling point during Flight 5's licensing process. What should have been an August launch was delayed until late September due to what SpaceX considered unnecessary environmental reviews. The frustration was palpable, with SpaceX executives arguing that they were being forced to repeatedly prove the safety of already validated systems. Bill Gerstenmaier, SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, delivered a stark warning during a Senate hearing. The entire regulatory system risked collapse under its own weight. The pre-application process, meant to streamline approvals, had instead become a bureaucratic labyrinth where companies found themselves trapped in endless cycles of clarification and revision. 
the stakes couldn't be higher. The Space Force's interest in Starship as a potential orbital transport vehicle adds national security implications to these regulatory delays. When SpaceX faced a $633,000 fine for alleged license violations in 2023, the situation escalated into a public confrontation with Elon Musk threatening legal action. But change is coming. The FAA's new advisory committee, set to convene in December, represents a potential breakthrough. Bringing together experts from industry and academia, this committee will tackle nine critical areas of launch licensing reform. Their recommendations, expected by late summer next year, could fundamentally reshape how America regulates commercial spaceflight. The implications extend far beyond SpaceX. As Todd Harrison from the American Enterprise Institute noted, these changes could accelerate the entire industry's development cycle. With the U.S. commercial space sector facing increasing international competition, particularly from China's rapidly advancing space program, the ability to innovate and deploy quickly has become a matter of national strategic importance. The rapid progress at Starbase isn't just about building bigger rockets. It's about proving that America can still lead in the space race of the 21st century. Each successful stack, each shortened timeline, each refined procedure demonstrates that SpaceX isn't just pursuing Elon Musk's Mars ambitions. They're reshaping how humanity approaches space exploration. As Ship 31 and Booster 13 stand ready for their next tests, they represent more than just another launch vehicle. They're a symbol of what's possible when innovation meets determination, when bureaucracy adapts to reality, and when the dreams of space exploration collide with the practical challenges of making those dreams come true. Recent insights from SpaceX engineers reveal that the improvements in stacking procedures alone have reduced structural stress on critical components by 15%, while new automated monitoring systems can now detect potential issues in milliseconds rather than seconds. These technological advances, combined with streamlined procedures, haven't just made launches faster, they've made them safer and more reliable. The data speaks for itself. Each launch preparation cycle has seen a 20% reduction in the number of manual checks required, while simultaneously increasing the depth and accuracy of system monitoring. This isn't just about speed, it's about creating a launch system that can truly support humanity's expansion into space. The story unfolding at Starbase represents more than just SpaceX's technical achievements. It's a powerful testament to how innovation and persistence can reshape an entire industry. As Ship 31 and Booster 13 stand ready for their next milestone, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in spaceflight, where rapid launches and streamlined regulations could become the norm rather than the exception. The transformative changes we're seeing, from record-breaking stacking times to evolving FAA policies, signal that the dream of regular space access is closer than ever. SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're building the foundation for humanity's future in space, one launch at a time. Keep up with these groundbreaking developments by subscribing to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the space revolution. Hit that like button if you're as excited as we are about the future of spaceflight and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who need to know about these game-changing developments. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on these regulatory changes and SpaceX's incredible progress. What milestone are you most looking forward to? Join our growing community of space exploration enthusiasts and never miss an update on SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you tomorrow's space news today. Until our next update from Starbase, keep watching the skies. History is being made with every launch. The space industry is witnessing a dramatic turning point. While SpaceX has long dominated the commercial launch market, a formidable challenger is emerging from an unexpected corner. Rocket Lab, already the second most active U.S. aerospace company, is about to unveil their most ambitious project yet, the Neutron Rocket. This isn't just another rocket. With its innovative carbon fiber construction, groundbreaking 3D printed components, 
and a revolutionary reusable fairing system, Neutron represents a fresh approach to medium lift launch vehicles. And with a development cost of just $300 million, a fraction of its competitors, it's positioning itself as a serious contender in the U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues pushing boundaries, achieving their 400th successful Falcon launch and maintaining their critical role in ISS operations. But recent technical challenges have caught NASA's attention, raising important questions about the balance between rapid progress and operational safety. From Rocket Lab's bold entrance into the medium lift market to SpaceX's latest milestones and challenges, we're exploring the evolving dynamics of America's space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Rocket Lab's rise from a small launch provider to a potential SpaceX competitor is nothing short of remarkable. Their Electron rocket has already achieved an impressive milestone, 10 successful launches in a single year. This achievement becomes even more significant when compared to the slower progress of industry veterans like ULA and Blue Origin. But the real game changer is Neutron. This next generation rocket represents more than just an upgrade. It's Rocket Lab's bold declaration that they're ready to compete in the big leagues. The company's innovative approach to manufacturing sets Neutron apart in several key ways. First, there's the extensive use of 3D printing technology. While other companies have experimented with additive manufacturing, Rocket Lab has made it central to Neutron's production. This strategy significantly reduces both manufacturing complexities and production time, allowing them to scale up operations faster than traditional methods would allow. Then there's the revolutionary carbon fiber construction. Unlike SpaceX's stainless steel approach with Starship, Neutron's lightweight carbon fiber design prioritizes thrust to mass efficiency. While this material might be less durable during re-entry, the weight savings translate directly into increased payload capacity, a crucial advantage in the competitive launch market. Perhaps the most innovative feature is Neutron's unique fairing design. Unlike traditional fairings that separate and fall away during launch, Neutron's fairing remains attached to the rocket and partially opens like a flower to deploy payloads. This design isn't just visually striking, it eliminates the need for fairing recovery operations and significantly reduces refurbishment time and costs. The speed of Neutron's development has been particularly impressive. In just three years since its announcement, Rocket Lab has already completed the first successful test of its Archimedes engine. This rapid progress stands in stark contrast to competitors like Blue Origin's New Glenn and ULA's Vulcan, both of which have faced significant delays despite longer development timelines. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is the budget. With an estimated development cost between $250 to $300 million, Neutron is being built at a fraction of what traditional aerospace companies spend on new rocket development. This cost-effective approach could revolutionize how the industry thinks about rocket development and production. The timing of Neutron's development couldn't be better. The U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program is actively seeking to expand its roster of launch providers. Current contractors include SpaceX, ULA, and Blue Origin. But the program's structure specifically encourages new competitors to challenge these established players. The December 2025 deadline for launch readiness might